I am thrilled to tell you that we have with us someone who has spent much of his career in the securities industry. Um, it's one thing for those of us who are uh, national security practitioners, uh, familiar with and active in the policy making business to be raising concerns as those we have shared with you so far. It's an altogether different thing to have someone who is actually an insider in the business. And we have such an individual today. His name is Chris Iacovella. Today he is the Chief Executive Officer of the American Securities Association. But he has a long and, and very impressive pedigree of working in the business uh, of uh, global equities, um, national finance, including as the CEO of the Equity Dealers of America, which he founded. He has also served as a Senior Director of Global Government Affairs, Strategy, and Public Policy for a little company called Bloomberg. In addition, he has been a special counsel and policy advisor to a commissioner at the US Commodity Future Trading Commission, Scott O'Malia, and also was seconded over to the Committee on Financial Services in the US House of Representatives. He is, in short, a man who knows whereof he speaks about these vital topics, and we're very proud to have him with us. Chris, welcome. Well, I'd like to thank you, uh, Frank, Brian, and the committee for inviting me here today to speak about such an important issue. The mission of the American Securities Association rests on two pillars, to promote the trust and confidence of American investors and to help small businesses across this country access the capital they need to create jobs and grow the American economy. Allowing any American investor to put their hard-earned money into passive indexes that include Chinese companies who routinely avoid financial audits satisfies neither pillar of this mission, and it threatens America's economic and national security. As a result of the TSP decision, one group of Americans, U.S. government employees saving for retirement, will now be compelled to invest in unaudited Chinese companies instead of transparently audited small businesses right here in the United States. The TSP decision borders on fiduciary malfeasance because it ignores a fundamental tenet of our securities laws, and that's investor protection. In the wake of the Enron and WorldCom scandals, it's difficult for me to understand how we can allow American investors to be exposed to companies who are not audited and who continually avoid these financial audits, simply because the Chinese government claims that the information contained in them is a quote unquote state secret. This claim is outrageous. At a minimum, US investors, savers, and retirees will be the ones who suffer if these companies turn out to be frauds. And at worst, U.S. investor dollars are being used to fund the Chinese military and a cyber army that relentlessly attacks this country on a daily basis. And no matter how you slice it, this money would be much better spent funding America's small businesses and growing this economy. The index providers who include China A-share companies in their indexes have no idea whether these companies are frauds, arms of the Chinese military, or supporting human rights abuses. Their diligence process rests on Wall Street pressuring them to include more Chinese companies in the indexes. Because Wall Street knows this is a backdoor way around at the SEC's company-specific disclosure and audit regime. And another question we should be asking is who exactly is pushing this agenda? And how much do they profit at the expense of American investors and small businesses? Is this the same group of mega Wall Street asset managers and index providers who push their social views of the world onto investors? And why are they suddenly so silent when it comes to American investor dollars flowing into opaque Chinese companies? I guess it turns out their profits and the need to pander to an adversarial nation are more important than the interests of American investors. 
Don't let the recent virtue signaling we've seen from their CEOs fool you. Taking the moral high ground on social issues stops at America's borders. I will leave you with this. Could you ever imagine a U.S. company pushing American investors into funds that included Russian companies during the Cold War? Absolutely not, because it's flat out wrong. America's Main Street investors and government employees should be investing in highly regulated, transparent businesses in the United States of America, not coerced by Wall Street to invest in unregulated companies in China. We call on the TSP board to immediately reverse its decision of force U.S. government employees to invest in any index that includes Chinese companies, because America's investors must not be a source of wealth that funds China's rise. Thank you.